The question, should politicians be speaking in public about an ongoing murder trial, regardless of how profile it is? Let's bring in our next guest, Derek Holly, president of Reaching America, member of Project 21 and former Trump appointee to discuss all this. Derek, good to see you. Thanks for having me, Rob. Yeah, sure. The current president uh, wasn't only talking, uh, was the only politician to talk about this verdict today. Uh, you also had former President Obama releasing a statement. Today, a jury in Minneapolis did the right thing. We know that true justice is about much more than a single verdict in a single trial. While today's verdict may have been a necessary step on the road to progress, it was far from a sufficient one. We cannot rest. Derek, what do you make of all this? Well, you know, I think at some point politicians need to stay out of you know, something like this, a case, a case as, with a, as high of profile a case as this, um, the comments from Maxine Waters prior to the jury, it quite possibly this whole case could be appealed because of what she said uh, regarding this, uh, regarding this trial before the verdict came down. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, it's, it's funny to me, and I, I said this a second ago, but you have Kamala Harris, who was a prosecutor who threw countless black men in jail for marijuana offenses. I mean, that's how she built a lot of her career. You have Joe Biden, who may be the most demonstrably racist politician we still have in Washington, the one that has the most evidence of racial comments in his past. Even Kamala Harris has gone after him for it. To see them pandering to all this, what do you make of that? You know, I'm glad you asked me that question, Rob, because here's the thing. You know, Granted, this was a tragedy, and I am not in any way minimizing George Floyd's death. It, it should sure. not have happened. Sure. At the same time, it, it's it's almost as if this is a distraction, oh, okay, sure to how bad Joe Biden's administration is right now. Yeah. But right now, as it relates to just foreign policy and what's going on, we are getting... We, the United States is stretched to its thinnest point right now. You got Russia moving in on Ukraine again. China is trying to uh, t uh, invade you, you, uh, Taiwan, one of our strongest and most strategic allies in that region. Right. And then you got Iran, who's, er who's uh, enriching uranium at the highest level it's ever been. And then we have a crisis right here domestically at the border. And COVID cases are on the rise. But we're talking about this right here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something else, too, because it, it's not only a distraction to those things. It's a distraction to what's right in front of our face. We have a serious problem in this country. In our inner cities, we have a culture of crime and violence. We have a horrible culture of that. We have a, a lack of fathers. We have a lock, lack of families. We have a big problem in our black community of violence within itself. And this is the distraction. This is the distraction to take your mind off the fact that blue cities and, and liberal policies in this country have bred this nonsense for so long, so they ignore thousands of deaths that happen one way and focus on one death because it happens to a cop when it is such a small percentage of a fraction, it's not even worth talking about. But this is what they focus and Rob, on. And Rob, I, I wrote a piece uh, a couple of years ago. We have over 900,000 law enforcement agency, agents in this country. Yeah. And so all of them can't be bad, Rob. And so right now, they only highlight Black Lives Matter. I tell my son, Derek, who runs track, it's not what you do out on the track when the lights are on, it's what you do when the lights are off. And you never see Black Lives Matter when all the shootings happen every single night Amen. across these inner cities. Amen. You only see them show up when there's a police shooting. Yep. And, and it's so hypocritical. Yeah, when there's, when there's some kind of political agenda or money to be made. And that's the point. And people can get angry for, at us for saying that, but that's the truth. And it's the truth that people don't want to admit. They want to get all hyped up in this when there's so much bigger of a problem out there to talk about, and nobody wants to talk about that. This is a distraction, and I couldn't agree more. Derek Holly, thank you so much for the time. Good to talk to you. I appreciate you, man.